Hello guys, how are you? So today I'm going to talk about uh, a question someone asked me a couple of days back, which is uh, that how much of maths uh, is used in quantitative finance? Well, it depends which area of quantitative finance. Some areas use uh, heavy mathematics, a lot of mathematics, whereas others do not use uh, much of mathematics or less mathematics. Um, but regardless of which area will you will be working in you will definitely use some mathematics so if you do not enjoy mathematics as a subject you will not enjoy quantitative finance in fact you will not enjoy finance in my personal opinion any area of finance uh, requires some level of mathematics and you will use some mathematics in uh, any area of finance you you work with um, if you work in uh, front office also you will use some mathematics so if you hate mathematics you will not enjoy a career in finance but certainly uh, quantity finance you will not enjoy having said that it is not like you have to be really good in mathematics in all areas of quantity finance it, it does help specifically in some areas for example if you're a quant researcher for a private fund you are expected to be uh, very good in mathematics if you are a risk modeler in some you know market risk or in in pricing uh, risk areas you are expected to be really good in in mathematics but let's say you are someone who is working as a quant at a fintech you are developing scorecard you still you will be using a lot of mathematics but uh, not as much as someone who is working as a market risk modeler, somebody who is working as a pricing risk modeler um, or, or working as a quant trader. Right? But you will definitely use mathematics regardless of where you work um, if you are working in quantitative finance. Okay? But as long as you are com comfortable with some mathematics, I think it should be fine. And if you are willing to learn, uh, it's still fine. Right? Because this is an applied area. You will not be writing mathematics research paper. It's an applied area. That means if you have understanding of mathematics, you can understand the quant finance models. It does not mean that you should be able to derive theorems. You know? So you are not supposed to have that level of uh, mathematical knowledge. Um, and some areas of mathematics um, you need to be familiar with. Not all mathematics is used in quant finance. I'm, I'm going to discuss about what exactly are the topics used in quantitative finance. You know, um, probability theory is quite heavily used. In fact, um, quantitative finance is mostly about prediction, right? It's mostly about quantifying the uncertainty and that therefore you will be using probability quite a lot so good understanding of probability theory helps a lot in fact if you do a quant finance degree or certification the first thing that you will learn is probability right um, and how you can use probability in solving problems in finance you know understanding probability distribution and how you fit a, a given probability distribution to certain type of problem uh, linear algebra is used quite heavily. Uh, I think it goes without saying that linear algebra is extremely useful uh, anywhere you deal with uh, data, whether it's statistical data analysis, whether it's machine learning, deep learning, quantity finance, uh, linear algebra is quite, quite helpful actually. Uh, but linear algebra, uh, you know, not all areas of linear algebra actually is is used right some like matrix algebra is quite heavily used uh, but not all areas of linear algebra. especially the theoretical heavy theoretical part of linear algebra is also not required uh, inferential statistic is very important or a statistic in general if you have understanding of statistical theory that's really good start to analyze data because you will be dealing with uh, data and analyzing the data is very important there. So unlike in uh, uh, you know more generic data science or machine learning type of roles where as long as if you have some understanding of the algorithms and you know which libraries to call 
you are still okay with that but in quantity finance you need to have a uh, theoretical understanding as well and hence understanding of the inferential statistic is also important when you build a model it's not just about the prediction you'll also have to explain um the model and for that knowledge of inferential statistic is very 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 important uh, calculus is also important um stochastic calculus is quite heavily used in many areas of quantitative finance so understanding of you know calculus uh, differential calculus uh, um or other areas of calculus quite important differential equation if you are familiar with the differential equation i think it really does help uh um, many of the models are basically solving simply partial differential equations in quant finance uh coordinate geometry is also important not directly but understanding of coordinate geometry is important right if you have done it in school you will find it very easy but um yeah you, you will use that for example you know distance between you know two point which is a very simple thing but it may not sound very simple to someone who hasn't studied coordinate geometry Right. If you are familiar with this, this looks quite trivial, but not so trivial for someone who hasn't studied it. So that's important. Um, numerical analysis is very important. Uh, if you have done a uh, engineering or or science degree, I'm sure you have studied numerical analysis, right? How to compute thing faster, right? So that's numerical analysis. Um, numerical analysis is very closely related to computer algorithms also. many computer algorithms are also based on how fast you can compute uh, and the foundation is numerical analysis in quantitative finance especially in some areas of quantitative finance fast computation is very important and there numerical analysis will be used and if you have understanding of that you can uh, you can always understand the more complicated algorithms but numerical analysis also very important if you want to understand any statistical machine learning algorithms you know i i come across a lot of people these days who are working in data science uh, but haven't heard about numerical analysis haven't done any uh, problem in numerical analysis um so that's a bit strange to me actually because to have a good understanding of theory of machine learning model you also need to have understanding of how the um yeah estimation happens and and for that you need understanding of numerical analysis linear programming is also used <coughs> uh optimization is a big thing in in decision making and certainly in um, in quantity finance where you, you are taking decisions all the times so you need to have some understanding of linear programming or quadratic programming um yeah all kinds of uh, optimization algorithms right boolean algebra is also important uh, boolean algebra is used in some places uh, if you have understanding of boolean algebra actually you can understand uh, some computational algorithms uh, in a better way if you haven't studied boolean algebra you may not understand those things so directly there is very little use but indirectly it will be very very useful and all of these in fact most of it we all have studied in school if you have done science in 11 and 12 i'm sure you have learned all of them not probably uh, numerical analysis or uh, yeah some higher uh, standard of calculus uh, we may not have done it but other things we 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 all have done it right and if you have uh, you know some understanding of higher level mathematics right um, at a undergrad level um, i think that it's it's, it's amazing but even without that if you have good understanding of the 11 12 mathematics it's still quite good enough for a beginner in most areas of quant finance uh, you can always pick pick things up um, without much issues um whereas for in some cases for example if you really want to understand theoretical papers uh very well i think then you really need to understand uh, mathematics or you need to have a higher standard of um mathematical knowledge if you have more questions please do not hesitate to ask me um if you want to join the course that i am 
making on quantitative finance i'll be covering all these uh, topics also in in the in the basic course um if you want to get notification about that course please uh, yeah please uh, let me know so in the comment there is the link you can uh, provide your details your email id i will i will let you know when the course is ready um thank you thanks for today